right, so today we're going to go ahead and make cinnamon rolls. My dad makes the best cinnamon rolls in the world, so I'm going to attempt to try to do what he does. So I'm going to start with four cups of flour. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so before I did any of this, I went ahead and got my yeast. You have to have yeast whenever you make these so they will rise. So what I did is a fourth a cup of warm water, mixed my yeast in there. Okay, just letting you know. So I'm going to go ahead and first put my baking soda. This is a half of a te te teaspoon, a half a teaspoon baking soda. One whole teaspoon of salt. Salt brings out the flavors and the weirdest things, doesn't it? You wouldn't think it, but it does. Gotta have salt. Okay. We're gonna do a half cup of white sugar, but we're gonna do the brown sugar later when we roll it out. Now I'm gonna do a half a cup of olive oil, or vegetable oil, sorry, not olive oil, vegetable oil. And now we're gonna go ahead and do our yeast. I'm gonna get my salted milk. And my two eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and mix all this up together. And see, the thing is, is this after you mix it, I usually make this recipe at night so it can sit all night long. So you're gonna mix it and then you're gonna cover it with a plastic wrap so it can rise, because it's supposed to rise three times its size. And you'll see what I'm talking about. It's kind of like a pizza dough whenever you first make it. It's real small, but the yeast makes it rise. Rise, oh rise. See, and as you can tell, I don't know if you can see it over here, but it's kind of going into a ball form already. That's how it's supposed to be. You want to get in there and get your hands dirty, go be my guest. But anyways, we're going to leave it just pretty much like this. <laughs> just like this. And I'm going to go ahead and take it. I shouldn't have got my hands all sticky. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Go wipe my hands off real quick. And cover it with this plastic wrap. Like I said, it's gonna keep all that moisture in and it's gonna allow that yeast to rise. Now, if you don't wanna do this overnight, because like I said, most of the time we do for breakfast, Cinnamon, cinnamon rolls, but if you want to do this to rise three or four hours, and then you can just go ahead and roll it out. But tomorrow morning, I'll see you back here, and we're going to go ahead and take care of those uh, cinnamon rolls, and we'll make an icing to go with it. So, see you later, alligator. Alright, so today's a new day. As you can see, this dough has tripled its size. Look at that bad boy. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do right now, throw some flour down, just a handful of flour your table make sure your table's clean and it smells so good like yeast like bread oh I just love that smell throw it on on there we're just gonna roll it out and get some flour on it okay now I'm gonna take my rolling pin and you're gonna want to do a rectangle because you know, we're going to make it like pinwheels. It's going to be long, and we're going to cut them lengthwise. There we go. The stick. Oh, this is looking so good. I love making rolls and bread. It's so simple. Okay, so this is the book that I'm looking for. Rectangle shape. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to apply some melted butter. I just took like half a stick of melted butter, apply it like this. And I preheated my oven for 350. Roll it on there like that. And if I don't let my dog out, he's going to bark. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do this. 
I like to do raisins because, um, and sh what I did was a cup of brown sugar. You want to do brown sugar because it molasses different than white sugar. And then I did a tablespoon of, uh, or sorry, a teaspoon of cinnamon. So I mix it together and I just sprinkle it right on top. The more the better. Cup's pretty good amount. And I'm going to go ahead and throw my raisins on there. I would do about half a cup to a cup. It's your own choice. So I'm probably going to do about half a cup. I don't want to overload it with raisins. Okay. And then I'm going to roll it. So how you start is at the edge of it like this. If you can see, you just kind of roll it all together. One at a time. And then it just rolls easier. The more you go, the more it's easier to roll. It'll roll all in one. Some of your butter is going to come out, and that's okay. We just want it basically like this. So we'll be able to slice it. There we go. Perfect. A little bit more flour on there. Okay, so now I'm going to cut it about an inch and a half. So about this big. It's about an inch and a half, right? Size. So we want it fluffy. Perfect. And that gives me two, four, six, eight. Perfect. Take your pan. If you want to grease it, you can. I don't because I have so much butter. So I'm going to lay them in there like so. They're already squirrely. So you just lay them in there next to each other. I do two by two, by twos, maybe three. Oh, this is so awesome. And I make a great cream cheese frosting that goes on top, and I will show you how to do that in just a bit. It takes like two minutes. So good. And as you can see how I'm kind of laying them in here next to each other like this, because they're going to rise really big. These are going to be big and fluffy. I'm gonna put one right there. Shove one over here. Perfecto. And as you can see, the swirl, see how that's going on already? Woo! I'm good. I have some butter over here. This is just some cold cube butter. It's like half a stick. I'm just going to randomly not put a lot, just like one or two on each. Just to make sure it stays buttery. I don't know. It just sound like a good idea. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes on 350. Follow me. We're going to go ahead and stick it in here. Oven is already preheated. And I'll see you back in 20. And I'll show you that recipe for uh, cream cheese frosting. See you later, alligator. Okay, so my cinnamon rolls are almost done. I got two minutes, which gives me enough time to make the frosting. All right, so this is what I can do. Powder sugar. You can use any kind. Right now, I just have a box. I'm going to do about, it says about a pound. So I'm just going to do about two cups. Let's just start off with that. One. I think that's how much I actually have in here. Woo! Two. Okay. And I'm going to do mine at cream cheese frosting. So I'm just going to go ahead and like two tablespoons of cream cheese and I want it softened so like about a tablespoon or two cream cheese I'm gonna put vanilla for flavor I'm gonna do a capful I don't know how much of it is it can be like a teaspoon so a capful there you go and then the most important thing to make it liquidy milk two tablespoons tablespoons Softened butter. <laughs> Almost forgot the most important part. And I leave it out on top of the stove while I make my cinnamon rolls to make it soft. ready for 
the cinnamon rolls to be pulled out. Okay, see, that's kind of the consistency I want, but I want it just to be a little bit, and this is the best thing about making your own icing, is just add a little bit more milk. So I'm just going to put, I don't know, half a teaspoon or something, or half a tablespoon, just to make it a little bit more hard. Yeah. So I want it, I want it gooey. Okay. So you see that? Look how easy that was to make. And it's really, really, really good. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to pull out my cinnamon rolls. Let's do the poke test. Remember the poke test? I'm going to go ahead and stick my knife to see if it even goes through and if it gets stuck. Let's see. Oh, we're good. Oh, and we're good. I'm going to pull it apart. Stick it here. We're good. So like I said, that was a 20, 25 minute ordeal. What I'm gonna do is let this sit for about five minutes before I put on my uh, cream cheese frosting, cause you know, but anyways, I'm gonna put all of it on there and, and leave it just sit and it is so good, but I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit. But after I'm done, I'm gonna take a picture of it at the end of all of it and you can see how great it is. Please come back and watch my recipes again. See you later, alligator. All right, so I'm just gonna pour this madness that I made, my cream cheese icing, homemade as always. Oh my goodness. And just, I love it. Sometimes I leave a little, make it extra to leave a little for <laughs> when I individually pull my out. Some people like extra icing and get it all in there. This looks so good. Hmm. Okay, so now you got it. You got my you got my secret recipe. Y'all come in again. Come visit me and see my uh, recipes by Robin again. See you later, alligator.